I was wondering if you could give us some idea of what this month since this incident has been like for you and the family. I personally, I'm, I survive day to day. I, I, I'm having difficulty coping myself. Um, I know that you're probably the same. Well, it's hard. You don't, yeah. you, when you go to sleep, you constantly go over it. You, you don't sleep mm. very well. No. I go, David deals with it by not thinking about who it might be. I must say, I go through scenario after scenario trying to work it, work out what might have happened, and that's difficult. It's, it's, mm. a, it's hard and difficult. Mm. When you try and remember, your mother, what, what memories come to your mind? Now, this is, this is a hard question, yes. too, because when something like this happens, you feel like you're giving pieces of your mum away to the public all the time. Mm. And you don't really want that. You want to keep your yeah. mum as your mum. Yeah. And she was very, very private. I mean, all this would be absolutely horrendous. Um, she, um, was, she, was, but she was kind. She was... She was... She would never try to... She would never cause offence. No. If I had one thing that used to irritate me about my mum is... If I asked her for an opinion, quite often she'd not give it. She she would just say, "Well, what do you think?" <laughs> and you know, so it's very hard to think about.